Hello kids, it's Bunny again with my latest junk journal. Um, let me pull out just a hair. And this one I call Tripping the Light. And it's all about dance. And not just ballet, which is pretty, but all sorts of dancing. And here on the cover we have a dancer, of course. And I have a little, cute little blue ballet dancer charm and uh, rose fabric and ribbon along the edges and I made this uh, from chipboard rather than using repurposing a, an old book cover because that way I could make the spine as big as I wanted. It's hard to find books with big spines like that anyway it's all held together with this pretty soft green um, velvet ribbon it's very soft I like that let's look inside inside we have first of all a lace pocket in which you'll find a tag and a real vintage photograph a man and a girl I guess his daughter and a small journal to write extra notes in Over here, we start off with Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers, um, iconic dance duo. And uh, I've used uh, lightly tea stained papers throughout, um, not as dark as most of the coffee stained ones we see, but I, I feel like it makes for a better writing background. And here we have a little. Dancing Fairy, and Poppies, and they're stamping throughout and uh, stenciling. Um, and here is the first pocket, and in it we have various journaling cards that you can write on the back of, and an old seed envelope marigolds and this pocket opens up unfolds to reveal extra writing space and it just folds right back up and it goes right back together Easy as pie. Next we have a little bee bag which has a couple of little mini cards inside and some vintage music paper and I try to uh, leave some blank pages for journaling not over decorate. Here's his uh, vintage wallpaper this is a vintage ad from an old magazine for uh, some way to stop perspiration. The other side of that, here's some tracing paper and some beautiful, beautiful illustration of roses. I originally wasn't going to have the roses in here, but I decided the journal just wasn't pretty enough so I added a lot of roses to it so I hope you enjoy that and we have lace along some of the edges here's the center of the first signature I have double tag tucks this one has dancers and another small uh, 
small journal notebook for you to journal in. And on this side we have a nice journaling card and a tag. Um, Gene Kelly lifting Debbie Reynolds into the air in one of their movies. <clears throat> Excuse me. Another beautiful rose illustration. More uh, tracing paper with, uh, I believe, the stancer is Margot Fontaine, I believe her name is, and she has a very pretty smile. And here's more from that uh, old magazine. Here we have a beautiful purple sparkly sari ribbon from India, which uh, I think is absolutely beautiful. There's another music page, and this one has a little mini pocket on it, basket of flowers. And inside's a little mini tag and mini ephemera. There's not an awful lot of ephemera in this one because there were just so many wonderful dancing pictures to use that there just wasn't room. In this pocket, there's a feather and another journaling card. And this is a uh, just fold out sheet of paper for you to write on. It's stamping and stenciling. It's uh, an artist's rendition of a dancer preparing and uh, another lovely rose. Here we have another pocket that actually folds out. Uh, first we'll remove a tag and a little, the New York polka. And another good sized journaling card. And all you do is remove the paper clip. And this folds down, that folds up, and it all folds out to a nice sheet of paper that you can use for journaling. More tracing paper. Um, Sid Charisse in one of her iconic poses. And uh, there was a, a little sparkly Brad. Take more chances, dance more dances. And it's jitterbugging pair. Um, here's how to do the castle walk. And here is uh, a teacher teaching her young students to dance. And this is a, you just untie it and it's just a folded up pretty piece of cardstock that you can write on the inside of and tie it back up. Here we have a sewn fabric ruffle and a doily or pretty paper. Here's a real doily, a, uh, an actual crocheted one. It's vintage. And this pocket is a uh, library card holder. Uh, it has a tag in it and a library card and then there's the library card envelope I guess you call it and it's a tuck and in it we have instructions for dancing the shag and another journaling card in the center of this signature I found this 
wonderful picture of swans in an old magazine and they're just I don't know it's just an amazing picture of them fluttering and just on a rampage basically Here we have another tuck with uh, more journaling cards. These were the Something Sisters. I can't remember now. And a vintage guest check. <coughs> Excuse me. Another doily, um, vintage ledger paper. Here's a pocket um, of a Life magazine picture of at a prom, and it has some ephemera and Eleanor Powell dancing. And another journal card and a tag, which you can write on the back of also. And on the next page, we have a jumbo bookmark with dancers on both sides, a little lace, a little lace at the bottom, and I don't know, just for the heck of it. Here's a facsimile of the sheet music cover for "Fly Me to the Moon," and. Uh, Little burlesque dancer and my favorite um, flower ribbon. I think it's very pretty. Another rose and dancer with the ballet russes. Here's another one of those fold out um, pockets I demonstrated earlier with a um, dancer, I believe it's. Nijinsky, something like that. He was popular back in the day and just a artist rendering of another dancer. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, here's um, a very delicate page out of a book of poems by Alfred Lord Tennyson. I had another one in there, but it sort of fell out, fell apart, so I cannot vouch for this not falling apart. It's very old and delicate. Here's some more vintage wallpaper. Are we still in the screen? Yeah. More pages for journaling. Another uh, tracing paper and some wild roses. Here we have, uh, this is a famous quote from Ginger Rogers. I did everything he did, but backwards and in high heels. And over here is uh, Fred Astaire, but that's not Ginger Rogers. That's uh, Rita Hayworth, I believe. But I thought it was a very good illustration of the quote. And... More journaling cards, really cute photograph of a man and a little girl, and uh, some vintage uh, advertising ephemera. Another little bag. This one has a dancer who is trying to walk like an Egyptian. In this tuck, we have Frolicking Maidens and the little ballerina book cover and another little ballerina photo. And this is just a pretty painting of a dancer. Here's another sari ribbon from India with the sequins sparkling on it.
the other side of the bag. There's more, another beautiful rose, tracing paper. Um, this is a scene out of a movie with, um, uh, I can't remember who the woman was. And for some reason, his name is escaping me. Gene Kelly. And it was a dancing number where they had this really long scarf that they use in the dance. And it's just amazing what they could do in the movies back in the day. And this is Ann Miller, another dancer of the silver screen. And another journaling card. More wallpaper. Um, and between these two signatures, a uh, photo of a dancer that I added a little bling to, and another artist's rendition. This is uh, one of the most famous ballerinas in the world, I guess, at one time, Anna Pavlova, and she was famous for her portrayal of the dying swan, thus the swan. More tracing paper, another beautiful rose. In this pocket, this is another one of those that you pull the paper clip out and it folds down and opens. And there's a tag and one of my favorite photographs of this young man concentrating on his dancing. I just love that photo. Another dancer, another dancer, journaling cards. Polka dots. Here is the dapper Fred Astaire. Love that photo. And several journaling cards in there and another one of these uh, fold out papers you can write on. There's a picture I call legs and has a uh, dance ticket and some jitterbuggers and some other journaling cards. And this, I think that might be Margot Fontaine again. And it's a uh, tuck with more journaling cards of dancers in it. More ledger paper. Another beautiful rose. Um, people dancing on the beach back in the 20s or 30s, I guess. And 